This is Will Nunziata, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed singer, performer, she does it all, the one and only Lisa Rogers. But before we get to our interview, here's a sneak peek at Lisa's incredible talent. Brilliant, well, thank you. How are you? Doing so much better now that we are finally talking. And Lisa, this is what I love about Phoenix 360. Here we are, you in the UK, me in New York City, and we are connected, talking about art, and we are going to be able to talk about you. And I want to begin from the very beginning, Lisa. Lisa, where were you born, and when did you realize that you had a love of music, but specifically singing? Uh, I was born in Hull, which is Yorkshire. It's in the UK and it's near Manchester. That's the best way I can really describe that. Uh, I first knew, since, ever since I was really young, my, my dad is a pianist and a musician and he's had loads of experience touring. He's toured New York when he was younger in a band. Um, he's done a lot during uh, through the UK as well. He's, he's toured the Hot Ice Show quite a few years ago. Um, he's done loads of things, cruise ships, everything. So I've been very privileged to have him as an influence, a strong influence in my life, um, as well as my mum, obviously, but he's very musical. So that's always been present and he can sing. So he always tried to encourage me to sing and get into singing lessons, which I did. Uh, and then it just went from there. I saw some some kind of uh, agency work for seasons abroad when I was early 20s and I started doing singing in Greece and in Mallorca uh, in sort of Motown tribute groups and singing on my own as well as a soloist and uh, that was really fun because we did the hotels and we would have costumes choreography so I did that for four years and then I went into my own things as well so I was solo singing and I was doing it in the UK and abroad as well. You have such a big voice. Do you ever think like, where did that come from? I mean, what kind of voice does your dad have? Is it similar to yours? Uh, that's a really good question. My dad's is different. Obviously, he's male, obviously. So he does sing differently. But I, my grandma did sing when she was alive as well. So my dad's mom. And hopefully, I think I get some of it from her too in that sort of style that she she was kind of operatic and classical, but she still had a lot of strength and power. So hopefully some of it's from a mixture of both. I am sure, I am sure. And I love that music was in your DNA. I can relate to that. My dad has a beautiful singing voice. And obviously, as we spoke off camera for many, many years, I performed professionally with my twin brother, Anthony. But I also love the fact, you know, Lisa, you, you do a lot of covers, but you know, and people can see them on the links right below this video, but you make them your own. You know, I feel like, I'm witnessing an artist who really digs into lyric when they sing. Is that coming from an acting background for you? Talk to me a little bit about how you approach all the songs that you sing. Well, thank you, first of all, for saying that. That's lovely. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I did study a degree at university, which was musical theater. So yes, there was an element of acting through song which I always found quite hard, actually. I don't think it's easy whatsoever to act through song. I try and put my emotion into it and what I'm thinking about at the time or something that would remind me of that feeling that I'm trying to get to. Um, but yeah, definitely comes from the musical theater, I'd say, as a, as a starting point. Are there any singers that you grew up listening to that really inspired you? Because, you know, when I see, for example, you singing 
greats, you know, covers of greats like, you know, everyone from Lady Gaga to, you know, to, to Etta James. I mean, you really run the gamut in terms of genre, but it seems like the songs that you cover, but the artists that you tribute in a way are these strong, powerful, unapologetic, um, you know, women. I'm curious if that's something conscious for you. It wasn't, I, I'm not sure it was actually, but now you said that, yes, definitely. When I started having singing lessons, we always did kind of songs to put into a performance with all the students from that school every month or every couple of months. And it would either be a theme or an artist. So I think I was always looking at different artists. And at the time there was lots of strong artists like Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Celine Dion, that I would look at that was still current and present at that time and, and still with us at that time, but also that I found really influential and inspiring. So I did actually, yeah, when I think about it, I did really take influence from all of them. I love it. Well, listen, I could speak with you forever, Lisa. I want to let our audience know. For more on the amazing Lisa, you can read more about her right below this video. Lisa, final question for you. Obviously, this has been a tough time for all people, especially artists. For the artists, though, out there that are maybe struggling a little bit with, you know, getting their creative juices flowing, is there any advice that you would give to them? Yeah, as you said, it's been really tough for many people everywhere in the world. It's, it's so rare that this is a worldwide thing where everybody can relate to it in different ways, but we're all sort of in the same position. I just think a big part of this in life is to just keep going, not give up, just stay passionate about what you're passionate about. In this instance, the music and the creativity and what it is that about the music and the performance that makes you feel a certain way and want to keep doing it. So hold on to that and be passionate and be resilient and be strong and we'll get through it. We'll all get through it. Lisa, you are so inspiring. You're such a beautiful light. I can see it through all of the music, all of your videos, all of your social media. You are such a star. I'm so excited you're coming on board this amazing new social media app, Phoenix 360. And selfishly, I'm so grateful that we are now connected and hopefully <laughs> one day soon we can collaborate. How about that, Lisa? Let's put that out into the universe. Absolutely, I'd love to. <laughs>